Should you buy the Bamboo Labs P1S? Is the AMS upgrade even worth it? Is it worth the price? As a novice 3D printerist, 3D printerer? Hmm. Additive manufacturing engineer. Well, I know a few mechanic engineers that would probably fight me on this. Let's see Reddit. Ah, this is it. As a homo sapien with an innate, unexplained obsession with little machines that melt thermoplastics into layers to create a 3D object, I found myself asking exactly these questions. I searched for hours online looking at 3D printers until I found the perfect one for me, the Bamboo Labs P1S. So today, I will be going over exactly why I bought it and why I think you should too. Now straight out of the box, the Bamboo Labs P1S was super easy to set up. It would take a competent person roughly 15 to 30 minutes to set up. What really surprised me was not only was it quick to set up, but also that I had to do no configuration to get a perfect print. Straight from the start, I was amazed with how little I needed to know to hit the ground running. Which leads me to reason number two. The software is painstakingly easy. Yes, there are a bunch of values I can tweak, and quite frankly, I have no idea what half of them do, but the software holds your hand through every step of putting in filament, loading a model in, and starting a print. And even without the software, you can start a print manually via the SD card. Now reason number three. It's like the Lightning McQueen of printers. All Bamboo Lab printers come equipped with their motion control system. This makes their printers insanely quick. Well, for an FBM printer. At a top speed of 500 millimeters per second, and an acceleration from 0 to 500 in under 2.5 one thousandths of a second, you will be cutting your print time substantially. Now perk number 4 with the P1S is that unlike the P1P, the P1S comes with a case. Meaning, as I gain more experience and confidence in 3D printing, I will be able to progress to more advanced materials like PETG and ABS. Talking about filaments, Bamboo Labs have their own filament line, if only they weren't bloody sold out with time. Even though it's hard to get your hands on their filament, it's still a perk for a few reasons. One, I got a subscription to their filament when I bought the printer, meaning I am buying filament at about two thirds of the cost. Second, when adding the filament in, my AMS system automatically recognizes it by the RFID tag on the side of the roll. Once again, this makes using the printer super easy as it presets the print with the correct settings for the filament. Now to answer the question, should you get the AMS system? 1000% yes. It was super easy to set up and has been amazing to use. It's nice just having up to four different filaments on standby. And when you want to expand, you can set up three more of these bad boys to get a total of 16 filaments. Now the only downside with Bamboo Labs that I have heard is their customer service. I'm quite active in the Reddit chats and I see my fair share of people struggling. But because Bamboo Labs makes killer printers, I would just scratch this off as growing pains for the company and an area in which they can improve. So with this all being said, what's your thoughts on the Bamboo Lab P1S? Do you think it's worth it? Are there better printers out there? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this content, feel free to check out the video here and joining the crew by hitting the subscribe button here. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.